Another day, another dungeon released. You can download it now in the usual places. That was the airship mini dungeon, one of our first schematic dungeons. But I deleted all schematic dungeons in Elite Mobs 9. Here's why. Nope. Come on. Ah, there we go. Believe it or not, our first dungeons were schematic dungeons. Crazy, right? To those of you who might be new, schematic dungeons were Minecraft dungeons that were placed through world edit schematics. You could place them anywhere, and the recommendation back then was to place them in your normal survival world. You see, the original vision of dungeons was quite different from what we now have. Since Elite Mobs is a plugin that extends Minecraft's endgame, when people wanted pre-made dungeons, it made sense to paste them in a normal survival server's overworld. I mean, how could you possibly even go to multiple different worlds in any kind of convenient way? So, it just made sense that your dungeons would be placed in the world. However, they couldn't exactly be placed randomly in the world, because I didn't know how to do that. <clears throat> I mean, uh, because bosses were meant to be for uh, group encounters and have a respawn time, thus acting as little server events of their own, inspired by World of Warcraft bosses. Fun fact, that's why some of the older documentation still calls them world bosses, even though we've mostly renamed them to be regional bosses. Anyhow, we very quickly started running into problems with the system. Really, the problems started from the very first build that we made, with the Dark Cathedral, where the inside was tiny, making fair combat difficult. This is totally because I wanted to make it easy to paste the schematic into the world, and not at all because I didn't know how to change the aggro range of the boss, nor because I didn't know how I could avoid players trying to cheese the boss fight outside of the arena. I definitely intended to do it incorrectly first, so I could later come back and show how much better the new solution is. Trust me. As we added more mobs, and tried to broaden the scope of dungeons, we quickly started running into several issues, which culminated with the Vampire Manor, the largest schematic dungeon and the last we ever made. Turns out, the spooky thing in the Vampire Manor is the code that I wrote to make it work, and even now I am too scared to even look back at it. Between rotations, transitive blocks, and chest placements, that code still haunts me. Plus, reworking terrain for larger builds was a huge hassle when it came to installing it. But, none of these issues led to the end of schematic dungeons. Better structures did. In the off chance you are part of the 1% of people watching my video who don't know what better structures is, you are the person who hasn't subscribed yet. You should really fix that. Better structures is a plugin that adds over 500 new structures to any Minecraft world generator, with new build packs being added every so often. There's a cool technical explanation why it works for every world generator, but YouTube says technical details are for nerds, so instead, you can just assume it uses code and algorithms to nicely paste its structure into a world, both in terms of where it goes, but also to try to fit them into the terrain. And if you think you'd like a full explanation on how it works, say so in the comments and I will consider it for a future video. What matters to us here, though, is the fact that I integrated elite mobs into better structures. That means that some structures, which we call shrines, spawn bosses in them. These are full encounters designed for the space with custom loot and custom script powers. The fight area is also protected and the protection automatically goes away when you the boss, allowing players to mine or build or do whatever they please with the space. Plus, they appear naturally all over the world. You don't need to manually install or place any of them, just import the content into the imports folder and let it rip. As you might imagine, this turns out to work much better than schematic dungeons for the purposes of placing dungeons in the overworld. Even the hardcore fans of schematic dungeons slowly started seeing the light of using shrines instead, as they are simply so much more convenient. I could have left them as a legacy feature, but that felt like a disservice to the work done to bring them to life and to those who bought them. So, instead, we're working on remaking them into world-based dungeons. As a matter of fact, as of the time of recording this, each schematic dungeon already has a dedicated world made by Dali, and Frost is currently working through them, adding new mobs, loot, NPC quests. Every single map is significantly larger than the original schematic, both in size and in content, often having 2 to 5 times content. Plus, if you purchase the dungeons on magmaguy.itch.io, you have full access to the remade dungeons. It just seems fair to me. And with that, the chapter slowly closes on schematic dungeons. I thank them for the service, and I thank those who purchased this content in its early days, despite how scuffed it was, as it is the reason how we got here today. As always, a big thank you to the Patreon supporters and to the partner servers Matecraft, Glorp RPG, and Fate Tales MC. If you just want to hop on and play or check out the contents I talk about in my videos, you can always check those servers out. 
Also, Patreon supporters get access to all the cool stuff I've ever released, including all dungeons, so go there and take a look. More videos are coming soon, so subscribe if you want to see those, and like this video if you liked it.